What is up guys? Welcome to our week 2 team builder for the GBA. Feels so good to be doing this live and ahead of the game as opposed to uh, after the game's already been done. Uh, so I can actually explain to you guys what I have on my mind, what my game plan is without the influence of the game having already occurred. Uh, that's going to make a big, big difference in uh, in how this feels. So uh, this week we are taking on Shimpact and his Philadelphia Scissors. Uh, obviously another very strong team, just as Envy is. Um, his team has a lot of weaknesses to mine, though. I have I have a very solid matchup. I would be surprised if I end up losing this game. So uh, you guys see the, the teams on the left and right side. Well, on the right, but the left column is mine and the right column is ch uh, Chimps. So we're going to go over my team now that it's gone through a couple of changes, as you guys saw. Uh, we have Megalopony, uh, Scolipede. Sylveon, Darmanitan, Metagross, Milotic, Zoroark, Zapdos, Gorgeist, Mudsdale, and Barbarical. Chimp has Tabubulu, Greninja, Nihiligo, Yuxi, Mega Camerupt, Magnezone, Cloyster, Guzzlord, or Guzzlord, however you want to say it, Rabombi, Scrafty, and Victini. So his offensive core is really, really strong. He's got Tabubulu, Greninja, Nihiligo, uh, that Mega Camerupt, and as well as Victini. Like, all of those hit really, really hard. Obviously, uh, Magnezone and Guzzlord hit hard too. Uh, Shell Smash and Cloyster can hit hard too. But uh, that's his main offense is the first few that I mentioned. So uh, I'm looking at this, and I know that a few Mons pretty much have to come. I think Greninja has to come for me. Uh, I drafted in a way where I'm kind of weak to Greninja, if you look at my team. Uh, he has to run, like, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, uh, Fighting Coverage, I guess, and maybe... Um, Either Grass Knot or uh, Gunk Shot, depending on if he wants to hit Milotic or Sylveon. Uh, he can run U-Turn as well, but pretty much a combination of, one, of four out of those six moves, essentially. Uh, and he can pretty much hit my entire team. Uh, Bulu doesn't have a great matchup, I would say. Nihiligo does, uh, definitely, outside of like Megalopony coming in after it gets a kill. Uh, if it has to kill with Power Gem, then Lop comes in and kills something for free, essentially. So uh, I can't see him scarfing it. Uh, he might want to run uh, maybe a, a damage reduction berry. Uh, on his Nihiligo. Guzzlord I can't see coming. Uh, Cloyster might come for a defensive support role, uh, maybe to, to run Rapid Spin and whatnot for uh, potential Toxic Spikes and Spikes and whatnot, uh, seeing as that that's one of his only real ways of, of removing hazards. Um, I can't see another one <laughs> that now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe hazards might have been a good idea, but I didn't actually bring any. Uh, Scrafty, if it comes banded, is actually really good against me. Uh, if it locks itself into high jump kick, it hits pretty much everything, uh, seeing that I'm not bringing Sylveon. Uh, and it chips Zapdos away for Bulu, so uh, that could be nice for him. And Victini is a, is a real big problem for me as well, uh, being that it, uh, it can run a substitute set. Banded is scary because Milotic is my only real check to it if it locks itself into a fire move. Uh, and then it can always go for Bolt Strike, so that's uh, that's always a scary, scary thing to have to deal with. So let's get right into the team. I'll show you guys what I'm bringing this week. The first Mon is going to be our Sweeper. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be Shiro the Scallopede. As you guys can see, we have Megahorn, Earthquake, Superpower, and Swords Dance. I'm a careful nature, and you might be asking me why the heck I'm a careful nature. I have 156 HP investment, 204 attack, 4 in defense, 52 spit F with that careful nature, of course, and 92 speed. Now, the 92 speed, uh, I believe, is enough for his uh, Cloyster, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's, it's, enough, it's definitely enough for Bulu. Uh, it's making sure that if I'm at plus 2, I also outspeed Scarf Nihiligo, Scarf uh, Greninja, making sure that he has to lock into some sort of priority like Water Shuriken with Greninja. So I pretty much I just have to get up to plus 2 speed and I'm good to go. Uh, essentially, the idea behind this is uh, I'm a little bit of a bulkier variant with Black Sludge, and you guys are going to see why in, in a second. But Megahorn hits really well across his team. It hits the Uxi, uh, hits the Guzzlord for a good amount of damage, uh, hits the Scrafty, it's neutral against the Victini, uh, and it, it also hits very hard against Bulu as well. At plus two, I can kill it uh, after Rock's damage. Earthquake is there. Obviously, he has a very profound Earthquake weakness. If you look across his team, the Hiligo, the uh, Mega Camerupt, the Magnezone, as well as the Victini. The reason I have Super Power on here is because there's a chance that he runs... Uh, it's not only for Cloyster. There's a chance that he runs Air Balloon, uh, Magnet Rise, Magnezone to deal with my uh, Metagross. That's something that I saw in one of my mocks and that I'm very aware can come. So I want to make sure to have that fighting coverage to be able to hit the... Uh, the Magnezone if it is off the ground, as well as uh, if his grassy terrain is up uh, and he has a Shooka Berry, for example, then his Magnezone won't die even if I'm at plus two. So that's always an extra option. Uh, as I mentioned before, I can hit the Cloyster. I can hit the Scrafty and the Guzzlord for super effective damage with super power as well if ever I don't want to go for Megahorn. He's got a lot of dark types. He has three, actually. So uh, this thing is very, very good against him. Now, the reason that I'm running all this uh, bulk on my Scullipede is because I intend to pass Cosmic Power Boosts into it from Reen or Megalopony. 
So I'm running Drain Punch because Drain Punch hits nicely against things like Cloyster, Magnezone, the Greninja, Scrafty, the Guzzlord, again, all of his dark types plus two, uh, plus two other uh, Pokemon. Uh, I have Rest, Cosmic Power, and Baton Pass. The idea is he's going to bring Uxie. I am 100% sure he is bringing Uxie against me, uh, and I can set up on that thing uh, with Cosmic Power. After two Cosmic Powers, a Psychic does 25%. So if I force out something like Greninja, go for Cosmic Powers, Uxie comes in, I click it again. He, he's only doing 25% to me at that point. Uh, at some point, I'm going to click Rest once I have enough boosts up. Wait two turns, wake up, click Cosmic Power one more time, then Baton Pass out into Shiro or Scolipede, and then set up. And pretty much win from there so that's going to be the game plan i can also pass into another target that you guys are going to see later on in the team builder second to last uh but th that's my primary target is going to be the scallopede scallopede can set up without having to uh, get the boost from lopany but uh having this sort of lop is really good against him because my fighting coverage hits him really well uh it even hits an Hiligo very well so it's like six out of 11 mons on his team don't like dealing with this thing's fighting stab so just having drain punch there helps a ton uh, one attacking move, that's all I need. I am faster than Greninja. Uh, I did EV myself to be faster than Greninja. It could be uh, Greninja that's faster than my Scallopede as well. Uh, I can't remember at this point. I'm actually going to check that out right now as we are speaking. Uh, level 50 hits 191. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess it is faster than uh, than my Scallopede uh, for that one. So pretty much I outspeed his entire team uh, outside of like an absolute max speed Greninja. And Rabombi as well. Rabombi can outspeed me, obviously. But uh, I'm not too scared of Ramambi because I have a very good check to it. But first, let's talk about my Breaker this game and my Scarfer as well. We have uh, Darmanitan. She's well coming forward the first time. I'm very excited to use this Pokemon for the first time in Draft League format as well. Uh, we have Sheer Force, of course, Adamant Nature with max attack, 52 HP investment, 4 and 4 and defense and spadef, and 196 speed. This, this puts me above a, uh, a Jolly Tapu Bulu, so I'm faster than Scarf Bulu, essentially. Uh, I'm also faster than any non-Scarf Pokemon on his team, so Greninja, uh, Rabombi, everything uh, with this speed. Flare Blitz is obviously there to hit uh, very well across his team. If you look, his resists are not uh, too fond of switching in on Darmanitan at all. Uh, I do something like 40% to Victini. It's ridiculous if it's, if it's a choice band variant, obviously. And U-Turn does a good amount as well. It does like 25, uh, so I can get uh, I can pivot out on Victini. Uh, U-Turn hits his uh, three Dark types, of course. Once again, uh, all for super effective damage. And then everything else takes a ton from Flare Blitz. Even Mega Camera up to even Nihiligo almost drops. Uh, I have Fire Punch on there in case it's something that I want to lock myself into late game and not die to recoil from Flare Blitz. And Earthquake, of course, as his plethora of, uh, of ground weaknesses being the Hiligo, the Camerupt, Magnezone, uh, all, Victini especially, all of those don't like dealing with a Scarfed Earthquake, should say Bulu is gone. So that's uh, that's the idea behind this set. It's uh, it's just a really good breaker against him. Hopefully it can do a lot of work. Uh, if anything, I can see this thing getting the most kills on the team. Uh, this or Scallopede, one of the two. But moving on, I did mention that I have a very good switch into his uh, Nihiligo as well as his uh, Rabombi, and that is going to be... Alphonse and the Metagross back this season have this thing back on my team a careful nature uh, with clear body leftovers meteor mash hammer arm earthquake and stealth rocks We'll go over the EV spread really quickly uh, Basically, I have a 2 of 52 HP 12 attack 132 uh, defense 108 spadef with a boosting nature and 4 in speed the 4 was left over uh, The spadef is to be able to take uh, hits from Magnezone, should it be that air, air balloon magnet rise set that I spoke about before I can take two thunderbolts from it No problem uh, I can also take hidden power fires from uh, the likes of his Rabombi and whatnot. I can take knockoff just fine with this defense investment as well. The reason I'm running defense is because I actually saw a very interesting set somebody run um, on the uh, on the Nihiligo, which was choice scarfed with foul play. And the fact that I was adamant uh, and not careful with a, with a defense investment uh, resulted in me being two hit KO'd. So I was uh, I was actually kind of upset about that. I was like, okay, well, my check to Nihiligo is no longer a check. So I made sure that I have enough defense EVs in this thing to be able to take two foul plays. So essentially, I force him out. If his grassy terrain is up, he's giving me recovery with leftovers. This is also one of my primary switch-ins to his uh, Tapu Bulu. It can switch into Bulu, it can switch into Nihiligo, which is really nice. I like that it can switch into both uh, quite well. Brutal Swing from, uh, from the Tapu Bulu doesn't do enough to me. He's giving me recovery with his grassy terrain. So I'm actually really hoping that Bulu does come. 
even though because I have Metagross, because I have Zapdos, I could see it not showing up to this game, uh, but I would like it to because it really helps out with the recovery on a lot of my Pokemon, especially uh, this Metagross right here, which is going to be switching in quite often, I would say. Uh, so long as I don't get trapped by the Magnezone and I am unable to deal with it. Once again, Steel Coverage, that's going to be for his uh, Nihiligo, for the Bulu, as well as just hitting really nicely across, uh, hits the uh, the Cloyster for almost as much damage as, uh, as Hammer Arm, essentially, because uh, and I can get a, an attack boost too, which is always really nice. I have the Meteor Mash on there as well for the Rabombi, uh, which is, is the best way that I have to deal with it, of course, with my Steel Stab. Hammer Arm is there for the Magnet Rise uh, Air Balloon set that I mentioned on the Magnezone uh, to be able to break the balloon and then knock it out uh, after that with an Earthquake. I don't die to two Thunderbolts, uh, so I'll be fine against that. Uh, did I mention who his Z users are? No, I did not. Greninja and Guzzlord are Z users. I don't see Guzzlord coming to this game. It could, uh, but I don't see it. A Greninja could come with a Z move, uh, but I see it more so coming either Life Orb or Choice Scarf, um, or even Expert Belt, anything of that sort, uh, to really deal with my Melodic, which is my primary check to it. So, moving on. I did mention Zapdos before. We are bringing it this week, Inko. Uh, with Heat Wave, Toxic, Roost, and Defog. Now, I initially had Hidden Power Ground over Heat Wave on this thing. However, I ran into a lot of situations where I wasn't able to click it. Uh, even though it's a better move to have against Magnezone, against uh, the Nihiligo, it hits better across. Uh, the fact that Toxic plus Heat Wave essentially, uh, sorry, Toxic plus Hidden Power Ground essentially deals with his entire team. I ran into too many scenarios where I was unable to deal with the Mon in front of me. Either that uh, that Air Balloon Magnezone that I mentioned, or a Tapu Bulu behind a sub. And that was really, really annoying to have to deal with. Uh, I can deal with, with Bulu if he's not behind a sub. I have enough speed to, to outspeed a, uh, a max speed uh, Bulu. I think if it's Adamant, I believe. Uh, max speed, Adamant, Bulu. Uh, I have Toxic on there because it helps wear down the Uxie, helps wear down the uh, the Camerupt, uh, and everything else that isn't a Steel type, essentially. Every, everything that's not Magnezone gets really uh, heavily worn down, uh, as well as uh, Nihiligo not being able to, to be Toxic either. There's also that. I have Roost and Defog. Now, uh, Chim can run webs on his Rabombi, so I want to be able to get rid of those with Defog if possible. Um, my Scarfer relies on what speed it has with its Choice Scarf, so I don't want webs up. And uh, Lopunny also thrives in, a, in, a, in an environment where its speed doesn't get reduced so that I'm able to outspeed his entire team. Uh, so I really want to be able to get rid of those. And of course, Roost is to be able to keep longevity. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I also get the Grassy Terrain Recovery on turns that I Roost, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I gotta watch out for his Bulu while it's in... Uh, while it's in Grassy Terrain, if I'm Roosting and he's slower than me and he hits me with Wood Hammers, that's gonna really hurt. It's not gonna kill unless he's banded, uh, but if he's banded, then I'm not worried about it. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's Zapdos. Again, pretty straightforward. Moving on to the last Pokemon on the team, we do have our check to his special attackers being mainly Greninja, uh, Nihiligo, as well as the Camerupt. We have uh, Asuna, the Milotic. I'm bringing a Calm Nature with an actual uh, fully specially defensive set this week. And while I could run uh, physical defense for his Victini, I'm going to have to deal with his Victini uh, one way or another. There's no real check that I can bring, and he should recognize that his Victini absolutely destroys me. Uh, if anything, he'd, he'd probably bring something like a Calm Mind set, which is kind of why I want Dragon Tail. Calm Mind sub might be a very big issue for me to deal with, but I just have to break the sub. That's what my Scarf is for and whatnot, so... Uh, I got Scald on there, obviously burns are always nice, four times effective on the Mega Camera up to recover for the longevity again on his Greninja, mainly, uh, as well as his Nihiligo. I could have run Miracoat, but Miracoat doesn't hit the Greninja because it stays a Dark type no matter what, it is uh, Protean. Uh, it's not Protean, excuse me, it's Torrent, so uh, there is that, so I'm not going to run Miracoat. Uh, who was it that made that mistake last season? Uh, Magic <laughs> against, uh, against Dan in the D-League. Uh, made that mistake with the Mega Absol, the Milotic. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was not very smart. Sorry about my phone going off. Uh, I'm going to unplug that right away. Thank you. Uh, and we do have Dragon Tail on there because phasing his team is quite nice on uh, Stealth Rocks. However, his main switch in is probably going to be Bulu every time, which is why I do have Ice Beam on there. And once I've weakened the Bulu, it's pretty much susceptible to, uh, to Heat Wave from Zapdos, uh, being U-turned on from uh, Darmanitan. Uh, anything like that. Metagross can deal with it, obviously. So, 
Uh, I just got to make sure that my team doesn't get fully worn down and I uh, should be fine against chimps. So that's it, guys. Um, the, the battle, of course, is going up tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to uh, check out Chimp in the description down below. I didn't really get a, get time to say all of my outro in the last game because I was kind of pressed for time. On top of that, I was recording uh, a postcom, uh, which I wasn't used to while watching a video playback of the game itself. So uh, I'm going to do this properly this time. Make sure to go check out Chimp Act in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches from the GBA. Uh, make sure you support all of us, uh, as well as uh, the GBA channel itself. If you want to see all the analyst videos, uh, those are great. I, I really highly recommend them being an analyst myself last season uh, I think it's uh, it's great to, to really support the GBA uh, in any way you can if you're interested of course so that's one of the best ways is, uh, is to check out those analyst videos uh, those guys work super hard uh, day in day out to get us content uh, for that channel to, to keep you guys up to date with the, the recaps and the power rankings and uh, keep it fun keep it entertaining so make sure to go and check them out as well and that's gonna be it guys for this week if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below make sure to catch the game tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern should be an exciting one um, uh, I should be playing later to night uh, by the time I'm recording this and uh, hopefully uh, I can pull it out so that's it guys if you did enjoy again leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys later ciao